Hey everyone, so today in this video we have a question from Rishi, which is, uh, so it's a three part question uh, or a four part rather. Uh, what is LSTM with attention? Why is, there, why is there a need to use attention mechanism with LSTM? Can attention mechanism be used with any neural network architecture? And the fourth one is if attention mechanism can be used with LSTM, then why are transformers used? Very valid and reasonable question. So let's get in one by one. So I'll first focus on the first question, which is the first part of the question, which is what is LSTM with attention? Now LSTM I have already covered in, in my channel. So, you know, you can go and directly look into that. However, LSTM basically has certain cell states. So it's like RNN, but an improved version of that. In fact, a, a lot better because uh, it has, uh, you know, so, some something like uh, uh, cell state, forget gate and uh, uh, to say the other gates as well. I, the reason I don't want to get into this is because I don't want to focus on atten attention so much. Okay, right now I am actually focusing on uh, sorry LSTM so much. I want to do uh, attention. That's why you can even see I have written the, uh, the what to say your uh, title as RNN. However, <clears throat> so attention with LSTM. So LSTM is basically your it's like RNN but it has some other states as well. Okay, so there is a forget gate, gate. There is other gates as well. So. <clears throat> There is cell state over here. I don't want to get into the entire architecture because it will become too big. But what happens is if when you're talking about attention, so generally what happens is you have one LSTM that is your, uh, so this is unrolled. Okay. So some, consider something like this. Okay. Uh, so this is an uh, uh, what is it, unrolled LSTM. So this is the encoder and then there is the decoder. Okay. There is the decoder. So encoder encodes certain information that comes from here it encodes in a hidden dimension space or whatever let's say it's a hidden state and which is passed to the lstm and that lstm then produces our output so this is the basic flow now what happens with uh, attention over here is so i have a basic uh, i'll be using this particular image sometime later but right now i just want to focus on the attention part so what happens generally is when you have lstm okay so these are the cell states of lstm this is the encoder layer okay what happens is at every uh, to say step at every time step there is a hidden state okay there is a hidden state again one more hidden state and so on and so forth what happens is generally without attention the last hidden state over here is going to be the input to the decoder okay so now decoder will act and again there will be hidden states but in case of attention, what happens is again, I'm not, I said, I'm not getting into the de details of LSTM because I don't want to, you know, I will have to explain gates and other things, which I don't want to do right now. Okay. For that, you'll need uh, activation functions and all those understanding. I don't want to do that right now. Okay. So this is the general uh, flow of uh, information from LSTM. That is the last hidden state. However, when it, when you, when you talk about attention, every hidden state over here for the decoder has access to all the hidden states of the encoders and then some scoring will be done. Again, I have to cover attention, which I have not done, but this is just a question. So I just wanted to cover this because, you know, on this channel, I have, this is my initiative where you ask a question and I'm going to answer it uh, if it requires, if, if there is a need to make a video out of it. Okay. So otherwise I'll uh, answer it only in the comment section if the question is uh so simple and can be answered in the comment section okay but here in this case what happens is if there is attention in uh, obviously there is attention here uh, in the sorry obviously there is a hidden state here here and here what happens is this hidden state okay has the ability to attend to because it's called attention to all the hidden states in the encoder and obviously there will be some scoring done using softmax function uh, basically to determine on which of the hidden states do I need to focus. Why is this better? Obviously, because only giving the last hidden state in the earlier case, we, you know, we continuously lose information, right? Because of something called as, uh, to say, uh, long-term dependency, which basically means that uh, the information in the start has, uh, in the starting has been forgotten because it is far ahead in the, uh, it's far before in the past. Okay. So the recent information that was captured here and here is more reflected in the hidden state. 
So this is not what we want. We want that we should be able to attend to how much ever uh, in the past the re relevant information is. That is the idea. Okay. So uh, having said that, all of these uh, uh, to say uh, hidden states have access to all of this. Okay. So this is why. Uh, so this is how you use LSTM and uh, and attention. Now this can be valid. So this is uh, basically an RNN block because uh, you know uh, this is the same thing. Okay. This is the same thing over here. Okay, so this what I have explained over here is actually this RNN block. Okay, I thought of using the image, but I like the pen <laughs> a little bit more. So uh, why is there a need to use attention mechanism with LSTM? I think I have just been, uh, explained over here long term dependency because we tend to forget information that was too much in the past. So in order to make sure that we do not lose information, what we do is uh, to say we use attention mechanism which allows us to which allows us to focus on any uh, uh, to say uh, doesn't matter whichever hidden state that was uh, seen so many maybe couple of times or even before that in the time step okay so i hope that's clear with that so can attention mechanism be used with any neural network architecture now that's a question with which is a very loaded question can we use attention with cnn i have seen again but not much of a success can in uh, attention be used with normal neural network i don't think so but you know uh, if you type anything in google you'll get it so you know uh, i don't want to comment on that but i have not seen any relevant paper using this can you uh, use attention with lstm obviously but where is uh, you uh, use attention mostly it's with the transformers okay so can we use it with any architecture i mean if you just want to stuff something why not you can definitely stuff anything in anything that is the beauty of deep learning but again it should make sense so th uh, that's the answer to my uh, to this question if attention mechanism can be used with lstm then why are transformers used very very relevant because transformers do not only benefit from attention there are more benefits to transformers and one of the most ben biggest benefit of transformer is uh, something called as you can do parallel execution parallel execution basically you can use gpus i mean you can also use gpus on uh, lstm but again uh, there is no parallelism involved okay so in uh, to say in transformers you can basically uh, so it's uh, so what happens in lstm if you can see over here the input to this oh, sorry the input to uh, yeah input to this is the output of this so let's name it a and b so input of b is the output of a right so the once the hidden state of a is calculated or computed only then it it can be given to b but that is not the case with transformers transformers doesn't work like that okay that's why we can use parallelism parallel computing parallel computing here and that's why it is much better to use transformers so uh, and obviously there is one more thing like there is no problem of uh, <clears throat> Again, this this problem is solved, and uh, you know you can have uh, stacking, which is a lot easier in uh, case of transformers than you can also have stacking in LSTM. But again, it's a little bit cumbersome. Stacking is very easy in like encoder on top of encoder layer and on top of encoder layer and so on and so forth. So okay, so um, that is there. Uh, so I would say that transformer is definitely better than uh, to say your LSTM with regard to. Uh, most of the things even attention mechanism yes attention can be used in lstm also it can be used in other places also but that is why we prefer transformers than compared to lstm so i hope uh, i was able to clear clarify this particular question and uh, people you can definitely ask uh, a lot of questions i am really excited i i post every day on my channel regarding uh, uh, you guys to ask questions okay i asked you to ask questions and then I try my best if there is a question that I can answer I either make a video like this or I just comment in the comment section if that answer if the question can be answered there okay so if you like the video please like and subscribe thank you very much and bye